Hello my lords, ladies, dames and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Sport Like It Is. My name's not Ed, although I'm trying to sound like him, it's Richard. Ed's gallivanting in Hong Kong at the moment. So off the bench is one gangly ginger. Thank you. Ian Tebrugge, welcome, thanks for joining us. Well, thanks very much, Rich. And uh, before we get started, uh, a big happy first anniversary to you coming up as we share the same wedding anniversary in March. It's looming. It's I'm almost not, there. I'm not sure if I'll be here again in the coming weeks. So taking this opportunity to wish you thank you very much a I happy first anniversary and our wives appreciate it as well yeah. but on to more pressing matters yes though. more important things the end of a domestic cricket summer for south mm -hmm. africa it's been a reasonable one first test series won at home in a good couple of years mm -hmm. three two over sri lanka and the odis two one in the test series are the proteas happy with the way things have gone this summer i think absolutely uh, if you take it from the the, the test side of things i think uh, it was a 2-1 uh, victory over Sri Lanka, if I remember correctly. Um, Graham Smith, you know, captaining it, um, you know, it's an old war horse now. He's been in the job for many, many years. A um, few more years in the test position, absolutely. Uh, one day is, I'm not so sure. Liking the fact that A.B. de Villiers is, uh, is up there, taking over the captaincy. Uh, Graham Smith coming through with a, with a big, big hundred at the Wanderers on the weekend. So I think he sealed himself for... Another good couple uh, tours, and especially for England. That's the big one. New Zealand, I'm not too fussed about. England, that's the big one in June. July. You say Smith's booked his place, but I'm not 100% sure. If you look at the way the pitch has played, you know, there's been a lot of criticism of him in the past as being a flat track bully. Has he really done enough to justify that he is not one of those sort of players? I mean, Sangakara got runs, A.B. de Villiers made batting mm. look ridiculously simple on Sunday. Uh, has Smith done enough? Yes, he got 100, but uh, you make it, it was the sort of pitch that guys were getting yeah. runs on. You made a good point. He, he really battled. It was like he, was, he was playing for T in the early stages of the, of the innings. It was really painful to watch. But as the innings got on, he got the confidence back, which I think he's been lacking. And I think Smith with a whole bucket load of confidence. He's reminded of his first tour in England back in the early days of uh, 19, uh, what, 2003, 2004. And he scored a couple of double hundreds on that tour. So I think Smith with a whole lot of confidence bursting at the seams. Probably in a, a relatively easy tour of New Zealand, followed by England up close. I think we, we're in for a good one. I think Smith, yeah, I think he's in there for at least till the next World Cup. Speaking of casualties, um, there's a lot of talk about guys who will and won't be there for the England tour if we look further ahead. One of those, Mark Boucher, there's been chatter about him the whole summer. Has he done enough to nail down the position for England? I'm not sure. I think Mark will do himself a favour by pulling a fake hamstring. <laughs> staying falling at, on his sword. <laughs> falling, on his, falling on his sword, staying at home and enjoying some PlayStation. I think uh, with the likes of A.B. de Villiers in there, I think uh, it, it throws a whole new spectrum into uh, our cricketing mix. Um, you know, it's, it's difficult to say if AB can do it for the test matches as well, but he's definitely shown this last uh, series a couple of big scores, quick runs, some innovative captaincy, and obviously some good clean keeping behind the stumps. Whether Barsha still has it in him, he's pushing 35, 36, I think, give or take. The man's seen a few balls, and uh, I think it's time for him to hang up his gloves. Who's the replacement, though? That's the question. Is mm -hmm. there anybody that springs to mind for you that's really beating <laughs> down the door? Rich, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> an honest answer. To an, honor, an honest answer. Let's not uh, mess around here. I think we are battling for keepers. I think back in the day when uh, Boucher first came onto the scene, I think we had an abundance of keepers. Um, but just no one really knocking at the door. And that's a, that's a massive gap in SA cricket right now. There's, yeah. a, there's a, a forgotten man behind the stumps. Yeah, I think Heine Kuhn or... Uh, Dane Villas or one of those guys might disagree with you as they've had oh, uh, po fairly reasonable domestic seasons. Come, come fire me, mate. We'll talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, onto the New Zealand tour. Tricky place to go and play cricket. Mm. Uh, not the greatest of facilities. A lot of drop-in pitches. Mm. Low, uneven, slow. Not great conditions for, uh, for South African cricket. Uh, how do you think the guys are going to manage there? I think if Chris Harris comes out of retirement, I think they're going to really battle with his little dilly-dobblers. But a tough, a tough tour. I said earlier that it might be a relatively easy tour for uh, a couple of the older, older men in the team. But it, ultimately, it's a tough tour. Uh, it, it's far away. It's uh, right down there by um, where Gollum lives and all his little minions. But ultimately, it, uh, it's a tough tour. Uh, it, it's still test series. It's still uh, ODI uh, matches. But, um, you know, for what it's worth, it's, I think we will take it, hands down. And I think we have a possibility of a whitewash. 
in the test series. Straight from the horse's mouth, there you have it. That will do it for another episode of Sport Like It Is this week. Ian, thank you very much for joining us. Ed, as you can see, you can spend another week or two in Hong Kong. We don't really miss you. Um, but we'll be back again next week. And uh, remember to check out the Facebook page. Remember to check out the website and uh, follow us on Twitter. Cheers.